everybody. How's it going? Well, I just got back from a trip. Went to pick up a piece of equipment that I purchased. And he's just arriving now. So we're going to wait till he comes in here. And you'll all see. So oh, it's a T New Holland TR99. It's a 2002. So we're just gonna unhook all the chains, take the cardboard off, and uh, unhook it or unload it. Okay, Sean, give her. Just keep your wheels straight. Take the parking brake off? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. Sean, what do you think about the new TR-99? That's not new, but it's a 2002. But it's the newest combine here now. The John Deere is a 97. Dad's already in the combine. Well, he can hook up his trailer again. That's all you do it. Now you just have to lift it up with hydraulics. On the engine, there goes the pin. Yes, that's pretty much how you do that. It's almost too short for a combine, but these trailers are good for logging. Logging equipment, that's what they work the best on. Well, truck's gone. Everybody's gone now. Well, Sean is still here. Anyway. So, I'll just go over a couple things here. Uh, uh, what's first? Well, the first thing, and the thing I like the best, is well while i'm down here this thing has a red ready cop uh fine cut chopper on it and got a little rust on the back but this thing might get a paint job it has it it, it was never shedded so you know what happens to paint when they're not shedded it gets a little faded actually right here there's one fiberglass piece on the top of the cab and the bottom 
that's the color it's supposed to be. Oh, I forgot some tape there. I kind of went overboard with this Gorilla tape. It really sticks. It leaves the... I'm going to have to get some... Something to wash that off after. It wasn't so cold. It's cold today. A few snow flurries. But anyway, that's the color the paint is supposed to be. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, I wanted to show you this. Ah. Oh, hydraulic shocks. Anyway, no more cat motor. That's like a big plus. So what we've got here is a new Holland motor. So, and uh, this thing puts out uh, 280 horse. Unless there's plenty of power for this combine. Um, the old New Holland TRs, uh, like the two we have, have cat motors, 3208s. And I think in 92, they switched, no. No, they stopped making the TR-96 and 92, they went to a 97. Um, nine, the TR-96s, I can't remember when it was, I think it was 88 maybe, they switched to the Ford engine. Kind of like uh, One Lonely Farmers, he's got the Ford engine. And I actually wish I had that. We had that engine in our TX, and it was okay. A lot better than the Cat. And then after the Ford engine, they switched to the New Holland engine. I think some of these New Holland engines were in the TR-98s. So anyway, this is the last year for the TR-99. Because after that, they switched to CRs. And then they made them big, 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 big. But uh, if you read all the combine forums and stuff like that, the TR-99 will still out, outperform a CR-960. Uh... I think the 960s had to get a update kit so they performed better. They were really dogs, so not enough horsepower, I guess, for the weight they're carrying around. These are a lot lighter combat. The only thing I didn't like on here is this has the Victory pickup, and I hate Victory pickups. Super 8. Hate them. The other combine I was, this is the actually the second combine I bid on. The first one was... Uh, it went quite high, and I st I didn't buy it, but it had a really nice Swathmaster pickup on it, and uh, those are way better. So anyway, I can manage with the Victory pickup. I did bid on the straight cut header for this, and I didn't get it either. Uh, we don't use the straight cut headers that much. Well, I don't use them at all because we don't have any, but. Even if we did have them, we wouldn't use them that much. Right, Sean? So, I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on it for something that we barely, we wouldn't use as much. But, anyway. That's the TR-99. And, uh... It'll be combining in a few months. Actually, our other combines are still in the field right now because we got about 50 acres of canola to finish combining from last year which we couldn't get because it snowed on it but that canola, that canola is garbage anyway it's froze and it's green and but it has to be combined so anyway thanks for watching make sure you subscribe and we'll talk to you all later okay i can't end the video yet because i forgot to show you guys the inside of the cab there are some differences so we'll show the inside of the cab. So first thing is, got a buddy seat in these ones. The other ones didn't really have a buddy seat. The 96, they just had a, a platform here and you could sit on them, but it was, wasn't, wasn't really a seat. Anyway, the cabs are the same, except there's no carpet in these ones. They have the plastic vinyl floor, which is better, easier to clean. Um, air ride seat right there um, everything there's because they have the buddy seat now and on the old combines you used to have your levers for your unloading and your header clutch and your thrashing clutch used to be right here with a big lever everything's on here now 
So you have your unloading auger, your header clutch, thrasher clutch. Everything's all electric now. Which in a way is nice, but in a way it sucks too because just, uh, I think the owner was telling me he replaced the one switch already. Anyway, uh, the other difference is we have some lights down there. They took the gauges away from here and they threw them up here. So now we got all the warning stuff for the engine all up on this part, which is all right. They used to have them on a bar here across but I think people wanted to see on the straight headers more more visibility and ah uh, we got the I guess you can't see in there but there's the bubble up auger now this one had an update kit done on it where they took the but the on the 99s they had a two-piece bubble up auger which had a u-joint and it made them a lot longer because a lot of these combines had the, the big tops. And uh, it was a poor design that uh, where the U-joint was, it would, it would, too much vibration. So they said if you weren't combining corn or anything, you could put a different sprocket on it and sh shut it down 25%, uh, slow it down, and it would help. But this one has the update kit where it puts back the normal straight one-piece auger. So... I guess this one uh, yeah this one was done because I saw the paper work for it so now I can end the video I showed everybody in there so oh yeah the only other difference is this setup here this gauge setup which shows uh, concave uh, on the old on the, our older 90s TR 96s you had to use a crank a ratchet crank and it used to be right there now it's all electric with the buttons so yeah that's about it. Okay. Thanks for watching. Take care. We'll talk to you all later.